what is up guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to show you how you can scrape jobs from upwork automatically by setting up a simple automation using this tool called appify and make.com i'm going to use this tool called appify.com it's an incredible platform with pre-built tools for web scraping and automation projects after creating an account head over to saw and over here you will see all the tools that you can use to scrape a particular site so over here you can see that you can scrape google maps data you have another tool that you can use to scrape instagram TikTok, twitter apollo telegram reddit yellow pages and any other tool that you might think of now in our example we want to scrape jobs from upwork so we're going to search for upwork right here and then click on search you can scrape jobs from either upwork using either of these tools you can also scrape jobs from that are posted on indeed so we want to scrape jobs from upwork i'm going to choose this tool called upwork job scraper now here you can also auto apply upwork jobs using this tool right here since we want to scrape jobs from upwork we're going to use this tool called upwork jobs scraper so click on it it'll be redirected on this page right here here you'll add the key job keyword that you would like to search for to find web developer jobs on upwork all you have to do is click on save and start so this incredible tool just scraped 350 web developer jobs for us from upwork you will see the uh, the contract type the description of the job the fixed price or the budget the hourly rate when the job was posted so this one you can see it was posted three minutes ago 13 minutes ago 21 minutes ago an hour ago two hours ago 10 hours ago yesterday with all these jobs scraped we can organize these jobs into a google spreadsheet where we can filter the jobs accordingly to get these jobs directly onto a google spreadsheet we will need to set up an automation on make.com to set up the automation you'll first create a scenario and rename it my scenario i've renamed it to upwork job script automation the next thing you'll do is search for appify and then choose watch after run as our trigger here you'll need to create a webhook to create a webhook i'll click on odd and then rename my webhook to upper job scraper and then here i'll choose an actor which is upper job scraper and then click on save after setting up our trigger i'll add this other module called get data set item this module will be responsible for getting all these jobs that we have scraped right here for the dataset ID, we can search for dataset ID and click on dataset ID right here. Limit, we can say we want to limit to 10 and then click on OK. After setting up our modules, we can search for a job keyword and get the jobs on our automation right here. We can be a little specific and say we want jobs specifically for setting up ClickUp CRM for clients. Now to get all the jobs that involves ClickUp, we're going to click on save and start to start running our tool. You can see over here that our tool is getting data. On Upwork, we can run, we can run this automation. So we begin getting all the ClickUp jobs that will be scraped using this tool. So over here, you can see that we successfully got 32 jobs that involve setting up ClickUp for clients. So the first job is we're looking for a website project manager. Now, when we go back to our automation right here, on our first module, you'll see that the status was a success. On this module, we're getting all the jobs that we just scraped using this tool. Here are all the jobs. So the first job is for website project manager. You can see the first job over here. We are looking for a website project manager. And we are getting the data that when it was posted, the description, the URL, the fixed budget, the contract type, the hourly rate. Now that we have all the jobs that we have scraped from Upwork using this Upwork job scraper tool on Appify, we can go ahead and add these jobs to a Google spreadsheet. So here I'll search for Google Sheet and click on add a row. Here I have created a spreadsheet called Upwork jobs. I'll find the Google spreadsheet that we just created. The sheet name I'll choose sheet one, as you can see right here. We can begin choosing columns that we would like to add on our Google spreadsheet. The first thing that we are going to add is the title. So 
So here we can have a column for the title. And also add the post date column. And add it towards the center. And expand our column. The next thing we're going to add is the contract type. The other thing is the hourly rate. So choose to center it and the last thing we can add is the url of the job and add url as our title of our column we'll in it and add it to the center with all our columns set up we can begin setting up our google spreadsheet on make.com so here we can refresh our sheet now here we will add the values to our columns for the title we're going to add we're going to choose the title right here for the date post side we're going to choose post the dot we could have also added description so here we can add a new column and call it description here we can expand the description column after we've added the description column here we can refresh it can refresh our spreadsheet and we'll find our description here and over here we can add the description contract type we'll choose contract type hourly rate we'll choose <coughs> hourly rate for the url we'll choose url right here and then click on ok so now automation is set up completely and our jobs will be posted right here after we've scraped from appify using the upper job scraper tool go back to your actor and here we can choose to add a new job keyword. For example, we can choose now because we had click up on our previous search, we can add Monday as our job keyword. Now, in order to get all the jobs that involve setting up Monday CRM for clients, we're going to click on save and start. And then on make.com, we're going to run our automation. So over here you can see that our job scraper is running and getting our data and the automation over here is running our job scraper just ran successfully it got 185 jobs with the keyword of monday when you go back to our automation right here the status was a success on our module you can see that we got all the jobs that we scraped from appify so that are the jobs right here since we had a limited turn it has managed to provide only 10 results for us. Now these jobs were added to a Google spreadsheet. You can see that all the 10 jobs were added right here. Now when we go back to our spreadsheet right here, you will see that all the jobs have been added right here with their description. Let me organize it the right way and I'll come back when it's done. Now on our spreadsheet, you will see all the jobs that we scraped from Appify, capture them using this module and add them to a Google spreadsheet. You will see all those jobs on our Upwork job spreadsheet. On the spreadsheet, you'll see the title of the job, the time or date it was, the job was posted, a brief description about the job, the contract type, the hourly rate, and the URL that's specific for that particular job. You will see all that data right here. So that's a quick video on how you can scrape jobs from Upwork using Upwork Job Scraper on Appify, and then set up an automation on make.com that will capture the jobs and add the jobs to a Google spreadsheet that will look similar to this one you can add as much jobs as you want over here over here you can choose to only filter the jobs that have been posted recently and those are the jobs that you can click the url over here and start applying for those specific jobs you can also choose to filter via an hourly rate the best suits you so that was a quick video on how you can scrape upwork jobs using appify and this simple automation on make.com where you'll add all those jobs on a Google spreadsheet that will look similar to this one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.